goddamn Lego. Lego my ego. Hardly ever Legos. Mmm. Slurpy. Yeah, fucking margaritas. Slushies. All right. What are we going to talk about today? Welcome to the Buckhorn Podcast. I am Martel, and with me always is Randy. What up, Randy? I got my tire fixed. Yeah, it's the People's Podcast, by the way. The People's Podcast. It's the People's Podcast. How do we not have more listeners? I, I don't know. Mo, Mo is completely confused by that at this Baffled. point. He's yeah, like, how do you not have more people listening? I'm like, probably because I don't do anything on Instagram. You remember how recently I uh, mentioned the movie Grind? Yes. I spouted a line during the... I, I, I skipped Huck's game today, by the way. I went to a car show with that instead. <laughs> Same time, though, so potato, tomato. <clears throat> what? I said don't skip his game. Yeah, I know, but then I did. I know. He's going to remember that for so, the rest of his life. Good. This the, one time, this game you skipped. The, the one I missed this year, good. It'll make him tough. Get all angsty. Start. He'll grow bangs out and oh my wear God. nail polish. And so emo. Listen to My Chemical Bromance. Mm. Yeah, I went to car show today, and I walked around and got all shvetty. Yeah. I'm all shvetty and stinky. Yeah. I went home and changed into comfy shorts and a clean t-shirt, but I still stink underneath. <laughs> I have one arm. You do. I have three legs. I have my. I had my left arm amputated. It is a good look on you. It is. It's, it's but a flesh wound. It's it's fine. It's fine. Surgery was good. I posted a picture post surgery for for those concerned listeners, which we would have to have listeners for there to be a concerned <laughs> listener. So there is no concern for you. No, nope, everything went good. No pains. No gains. But my hand keeps swelling up. That's. But it's because my hand's just hanging. Yeah, you're doing nothing with it. And I'm literally doing nothing with it. It's driving me nuts. But it's there. Yar, it's driving me nuts. It's there. It's there. I don't know. You had stuff you said you want to talk about. We're drinking margaritas. I I made margaritas today. Homemade. You did. Margaritas. Well, I I do. I've I've sent myself several links over the past couple weeks. But the last few days, it's just been weird for me. Just a, I don't know, an odd time. But I got my tire fixed the other day. Yeah. Drive down there. Like 5 p.m. They close at 7. Expect them to be packed. Like, can't get you in today. Pull up. Go in. Talk to the girl. Hey, you remember me? I was here a couple months ago. Blah, blah. You changed one tire in three and a half hours in the last three and 20 minutes. Yeah, I remember you. Yeah, well, you didn't change the valves. Well, the valve stem looks old, and it leaks on the same wheel that was leaking on the old set of tires. But on my TPMS thing on my dash... It's now showing the driver's side front instead of the past or the passenger side front instead of the driver's side rear. But when I look at my tires and manually test them, the rear is going low. I said it'll go a week at stay at thirty three psi when I fill it up to forty, which is recommended on those. Yeah, and then there'll be a day I fill it up and I come out and it's down to sixteen and I haven't even driven it overnight or anything. Okay, we'll get you in. Sounds like a valve stem issue. I said. I said. Uh, what time? How long do you think this will take? Oh, there's nobody back there right now. We'll get you right in. Awesome. What she meant was there are no technicians back there either. Right. Well, I'm looking in there, and there's one car in like the four or five bays they have. One couple sitting in the lobby. So I sit down, look at my watch. It's 5.04. Well, come 5.45, my truck has not moved. I can see it from where I'm sitting. So she goes out, and I go up and ask the guy who seems to be the manager of the floor there. Give him a rundown of what's going on. He goes, I'm so sorry. I've got to get... She's new, and I've got to talk to her about quoting times. And I'm thinking, she's new. She was the one that was here two months ago when I got the tires put on. She's still at the FNG. She, she does not have it down yet. Nope. But nope. she, they get the truck back. It's back there for, I don't know, 10 minutes. And she goes back, and she comes out, and she goes, they can't find a leak. I said, listen. I told you where it was. When I air up... Obviously, the valve stem gets jiggled, just like when I take a piss, my penis gets jiggled a little. Yeah. And things change. I said, I'll air that thing up and drive 20 miles and lose 20 PSI. There's a leak in that tire. Check the valve stem again. Take the tire off. She said, check the bead. She, check the, the valve stem. She goes, I'll have them over. They did the underwater test thing, you know. 
That should have done it. He said, and I told him going in, I said, I need, you can tell. When I walked in, I asked her, I said, do you, am I supposed to get new valve stems with a set of new tires? A yes. $1,300 set of tires? Yeah. I said, that thing's crusty as all get out. You get a new valve stem with a $200 set of tires. Right. So she goes, I'll have them over and play to try again. She comes back like 10 minutes later. She goes, you were right. They inflated it and went in there and tapped the valve stem and boom, it blew. No shit. I went, well, shocker. I could have saved us all an hour. So they fixed <sighs> that one. And I'm assuming the other three are old. I don't care at this point. Maybe the three and a half hour tires, a new valve stem. Maybe you just shouldn't go to tire discounters. Well, I won't anymore. Unless they're fixing this crap for free. Well, maybe. But even, even still, it may not be worth the hassle. Whatever. But I got that done. So And I got my tags renewed. They were only due in February. Oh, that's fine. So that's good. Yeah. So why do they say amen at the end of church songs instead of a woman? I don't know what a church song is. A church song. <laughs> or a prayer. Whatever. Did you, know, did you know it's Pride Month? No, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Why do they say amen instead of a woman at the end of a church song, song or prayer? Well, I didn't say prayer. I said song. Okay. I because it's a hymns, not a not hers. Not a hers. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, what's the difference between a porcupine and a Corvette? Uh, my buddy Grant drives a Corvette. With a porcupine, the prick's on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny. I heard that today at the car show. And then I pull in, there's a Corvette sitting in your driveway. I was like, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, my buddy my buddy Grant only brings it out like once a month because... Oh, just like my penis. It's, it costs so much to fucking drive right now. Dude, you should preach in the choir. I drove that 78 Lincoln to Amanda and back today, and I was like... I thought about just coming straight here from the car show, and I was like, nah... That ain't it. Nine miles to the gallon and a forty-two it, foot land yacht. Yeah, I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home change. I did not freshen up, so uh, I bet my balls stink right now. My pits are probably nasty. Because I'm pretty sure that's what everybody listening wants to hear. Oh yeah, of course. That one was for my brother. They would not want to hear Schvenzels. anything about the margarita we're drinking. Why would they? I don't know. It's so, a Margaritaville. It's horny toes. It's it a is. horny toes margarita. It's got horny toes in it. Triple sec. A lime. Basically, it's got a quarter of a lime in it. A whole lime. Ryan and all. A quarter of a whole lime. A quarter of a whole lime. Um, some margarita mixed stuff and ice. Limeade. And, a, and some frozen limeade. It's pretty good. It is blended. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's better than any margarita I've had in a restaurant. You should have made more. I can make more. Oh, we might have to do that. This is very refreshing, I will say. After walking around the sun all day, I hit my steps goal today before I got here. What, 1,000? 500? What's it matter? Two steps? (laughs) I did the two step. (laughs) I hit my steps. Two. What's it matter how many? Because I I want to know how many. Who's making up these rules, man? I just want to know how many. Uh, 5,000. That's good. Before I got here, yeah. I didn't... No one, dude. I totally. Dude, you got to hit twenty five thousand steps a fucking day. I just quit a grind again, but of course you didn't know. But I totally set that up because I was thinking on the way here. I'm going to say I hit my step goal. He's going to ask how many, and I'm going to say who makes these rules, man. And I'm not going to pay attention one right. way or another because I don't think I've ever seen the movie. You haven't, and you don't care. And that's fine. Probably not. Just like you could care less about any of the Marvel outer space shit. You're, that's very true. I mean, that's you're absolutely correct. Yeah, space battles and Star Wars yeah. and. Hero, D Rose, and Power Rangers, and all that crap. Oh, Power Rangers suck. Go, go, pa- Judd is on this kick of running around singing, Go, go, Power Rangers. You might even work for Power Rangers while doing ninja moves for like a half hour at a time. Yeah, they the- do ninja moves in a full, like, motorcycle getup. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Look like a biker gang. Yeah, they're a very colorful biker gang. But and- they know it's Pride Month. <laughs> who gives a shit? Like, who fucking cares? Liz got me started on pronouns the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why did she do that? Did she mean She to said do that? something. No, she said something. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I just don't care. I said, you're either a guy or a girl. I don't, don't give me this they, them, the fucking tree bullshit. I go by, I go by coniferous fur. I just, I don't, I don't care. Like, if someone gets offended because, you know. My pronoun is mighty oak stump. Yeah, well, it's a stump, all right. Mm. But if I, if we're out somewhere and I'm like, hey, guys, let's go grab some lunch. And someone gets offended by the word guys, like, 
that I said, hey, guys, let's go get lunch. I'm not the problem. You are. Like, specifically, you're the problem, I would Randy. I just tell them not. Just me. <laughs> just you. Specifically, you. I'm not you're even the there. problem. Somebody says something, you're like, ah, it's Randy's it's fault. It's Randy's fault. But if you get offended, any if anybody gets offended because someone goes, all right, guys, hey, guys, let's go grab some lunch, and you get offended because collectively you got lumped in with guys, fuck off. Fuck straight off. I have a feeling you don't associate with people like that, though. So it won't be an issue. Surprisingly, I do. And surprisingly, I will. I am. I don't care. Like that's I, guy or girl. I don't care. Whatever you want to be called, you t- you tell me. You want to be a, you're a guy. You want to be a girl. Fuck it. I don't care. I'll call you her. I'll call you she. I'm not going out on limbs with they them. All this trying to figure out all this other pansexual bionic bullshit. I want you. I identify as daddy, and you must call me as such. Fuck yourself. Welcome to the Buckhorn Podcast. I'm Martel, and with me always is Daddy. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> What's up, Daddy? <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> call, but, me, call me Daddy. No, I used to work with someone who was transitioning. Yeah, I think we talked about and that. We did. Yeah. It, whatever. She wanted to be called her? Fine. I don't care. Yeah. I could have cared less. I could have cared. My, my pronouns are fuck straight off. Those are good ones. Those are perfect I don't for think everybody. Is fitting for you, but no, the other two work. Fuck pansexual off. <laughs> you love pans. Fuck you. I'm married off. I'm not pansexual, but I'm skillet sexual. Mm, I'm kind of more griddle sexual. You're, you're, you're blackstone sexual. <laughs> <laughs> sexual. I just called you a blackstone sectional. That's like a hibachi grill with the couch around it. I'm fine with that too. They actually have. They actually have a counter that you can add to around the Blackstone. The, to the Blackstone they're just with, making with you, benches. They're making you pay a lot to go to House of Japan at home. Pretty much. <laughs> it's, it's like you literally could drive to Lancaster to Kanji. Well, I don't know, because to go to Kanji, it costs just about as much as it does to get to buy a Blackstone now. Did they raise their prices? Because it didn't used to be that bad. Fuck, for two people, it's like 75 fucking dollars. Uh, if you go to like dinner, yeah. yeah. Most of them are like that. But if you have two kids with you and, a, and they're, your kids have friends, you're looking at $400 uh, meal. Don't no. That's not a place you take your kids and their friends to. Yes, it is. When you are rich, that's, that's the a, things you do. <laughs> then that's a you problem. You can't you can't have your cake and bitch about it too. Yes, I can. You can, but nobody. No, cares. I, I can. I mean, I'm I'm, yeah. do, I'm literally doing it right now. But I don't care. Right. I don't care. Hmm. I'm gonna have another sip of this. I haven't been to Kanji in a couple of years though. Yeah, it's been a minute for us. I like it. The last time we were there, I've, I've always liked it. Yeah, it's just expensive. We were at House Japan yesterday. And they have new crab rangoons. Mm, I love crab They're the rangoon. best I've ever had. I'm not lying. I love some crab rangoon. Because usually you get a crab rangoon, you, you get a touch of crab flavor. These are like chock full of crab flavor. It's 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 like chock full of nuts, but yeah. not coffee, which is ironically also not nuts. Yeah. They're beans, if anything. Chock full of beans. <laughs> That's what they should have named it. Well. That, these I'm, these are chock full of crabs. I they like, give you all their crabs. I'm, and I'm fine with that. Love it. Fine with that. You know, every morning I get up and I get hit by a bicycle. It's a vicious cycle. Oh, man. This is a good one. Mm-hmm. This is a good episode. I yeah, like it. Yeah, it does. What did Duck say when he bought Chapstick? Quack. Put it on my bill. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was so dumb. What did Duck say when he bought Lipstick? Ow. Fuck, you're still a pig. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about Hillary Clinton. <laughs> what? Let's get you let's go take some pain meds and get more margaritas in you. No. Then we'll have fun. Just for the record, Martel's off pain meds currently while having this margarita. I am off pain meds. Twenty four hours. And according if he wasn't, to it's none of your business. <laughs> Who cares if so I was shut up. I've taken pain meds and plus we're recording drank Saturday before. and you're not gonna hear this till at least Tuesday. So. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing you can do about what, it. What does it matter? What are you going to call the drug police? Yeah. What are you going to do? What? Yeah, what are the three something. rings of marriage? Um, the O ring, the wedding ring, and the brown eye. The engagement ring, the wedding ring, and the suffering. Oh man, oh, man, I'm on it all. Oh. Just you have a list in front of me. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I was like, no way you're coming up with these on top of your head because you would not remember these. I mean, I probably wouldn't, but... I know you wouldn't. Three conspiracy theorists walk into a bar. No, you can't tell me that's a coincidence. (laughs) These are so bad. I know. 
That's so good. We should have had a couple margaritas before we started this. Uh, if you're going to read these off, had I known, instead of drinking water all the way out here, if you're walking into a bathroom on an American and you walk out an American, what are you while you're in the bathroom? European. Yeah, you are, Patrick. <laughs> 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 Who won't hear this? Oh shit! All right, that's enough. He never did reply to my message. Which one? About the cool American flavored Doritos. I did, though. You did. But I wanted Patrick to. I, he I ain't like, going to reply. He doesn't give a shit. No, but I'm like, I want to know if they're over there. I want to know if they'll rename it the treasonous colonial Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> Have a little, like, drummer boy from the 1800s yeah. on there and some guys with muskets. Yeah. Maybe the, the dude with the flute. That's why Patrick's always so angry. He just back as his ancestors got beat by our little musket balls. <laughs> I mean, they used the same musket balls. <laughs> Took them right in the mouth. <laughs> Sometimes straight to the teeth. <laughs> right. <laughs> some of them went all the way down their throat. Yeah, they did. Right through their throat. All right, what do you got? Because you, you said you had some shit. Uh, honestly, I don't know, but let me pull it up. I've, I mean, I've been sending myself links, but I don't remember if any of them are good. But let me scroll back. I had, do I, I had something. Or I saw something. That doesn't mean I had it. Uh, we did that one. We did that one. That's a car for sale. Oh, here's one. It's It involves Florida man and woman. Oh. Well, did you know a retired metal detectist? Metal detectist. That's not a, that's not a job. I swear to God. That's finds a 2,000-year-old Roman penis pendant on an English farm. How do they know it's a Roman penis pendant? Are they just looking at it like, what is this? And one guy whips out his cock and is like, let me try something real quick, guys. I would say that it, they carbon dated it and it looks like a penis. It's like they're all hunched around this thing. Like, what could it be? It could be like a finger brace for a broken finger. It could be in their name of things. It could be a hot dog. No, holder. it it, it, it looks, then, it then, looks then, like a dick. And then they all turn around <laughs> and Crazy Carl's standing behind him with his cock out of his little archaeologist pants. No, nope, it looks like a dick. Show me. Oh, God damn it. Oh, never mind. So you should always be ready. Why are you not always ready? Because I don't want to be. You t- <laughs> <laughs> that noise was awesome. I hope it got picked up. Barely. Mm. I need to get wireless lav mics. Like the headset mics? No, like just the ones that just... just the mic oh, the lapel the mic, mic yeah. t- style. Yeah. Yeah. You could do that. I know. I know, trust me, I know I can. You can, if you want. You can dance if there you want is. to. Right there. That's not a penis pendant, that's a dildo. Um, I don't see a difference. That no, it's a penis pendant. It looks like a penis, hmm. and it looks like a pendant. Uh, the testicles look like Thanos' chin. Well, I was going to say it looked that. like a fish tail, but... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want to know what so, if it was really a fish pendant that's just been worn down over the ages. There were more than four hundred penis pendants have been uncovered in England. Wow! Somebody should set up an Etsy. Something. Sell them all. Is there anything else? That's that's the metal detectist. She looks way well. First off, her teeth tell me she's British. Her nose tells me she's British. Secondly, she looks very very excited to found to have found four hundred. Well, I don't know that she found 400, but I'd be really excited if I found a penis in the ground, too. Mm, let me go bury most of myself. See, the problem with that is my belly would still be protruding before my penis would. It would. Look at that. There's a dick on a, on a stone. Oh, it's a penis carving at Hadrian's Wall. That's not a penis carving. That's one of Elon Musk's rockets. <laughs> That's no spaceship. It's a huge Woody. Woody. Wang. Give me that report. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Florida man and woman crash into FedEx truck during sex act. Oh, yeah? Well, there's really no way to put this delicately. A Florida driver distracted by receiving intimate services from his passenger lost track of his surroundings and crashed head on. It only gets worse from here, folks. Into a FedEx delivery vehicle in Fort Lauderdale on Thursday, resulting in injuries to his private area. She bit. The driver and passenger were apparently driving northbound in an SUV on North Ocean Boulevard when the driver became distracted by his passenger's performance and crossed the center line, striking the delivery van as it traveled southbound. Neither occupant of the FedEx vehicle was injured. The only package harmed was the one being attentively gift-wrapped by the passenger of the SUV. Her mouth. Aerial footage of the aftermath showed the SUV occupants being treated at the scene, 
pants around their ankles. Why did they not pull their pants up? I don't know. Other reports indicate the driver and his passenger were bo- both injured in a collision, which happened while the deed was being done. Despite suffering perhaps the most predictable consequence in the world, the driver appears to have gotten lucky twice over, and the resulting injuries were not reported to be reproductively catastrophic. That's a shame. Yep. He didn't get Lorena bobbited. But he did get Bobbit Lorraine'd. He did. No, it's not a thing. It could be a thing. We okay. can make it a thing. We could. We can definitely make it a thing. What else you got? Is that it? Out of state man busted after buying a guitar and four ounces of meth in Ohio. First off, I just saved this one for the headline. No, oh, yeah, that's just a headline. Because why mention the guitar at all? You know, just. <laughs> Well, so maybe I had, I had questions, so we're going to read the article and find out because I was like, "Is the meth in the guitar?" And he didn't know about it, so we're going to find out. Okay. Jackson County Sheriff Ted Frazier's deputies continue the fight to net illegal drugs that are trafficked. On the evening of Friday, May twenty eighth, deputies were on State Route thirty five near Milepost Seven, who we all know where that is. Yeah. When they observed a Honda CRV traveling east with no headlights on, turn your headlights on. You don't get pulled over. You keep your meth. Following the traffic stop of the vehicle, deputies discovered the driver, 34-year-old James Joshua Ferguson. That He's got a punchable name. I just want to hit him because... Wait, hold on. His name is James... Joshua Ferguson. There's like three first names. Yes. Basically. Yes. If you were in England. Pretty much. And had messed up teeth. He had a suspended driver's license. The female passenger also had suspended West Virginia driver's license. Ferguson told the... Who, dead, who gives a shit what the passenger has? I don't know. Ferguson told deputies they were heading home to Gallopolis Ferry, West Virginia, from Columbus, Ohio. Ferguson told authorities that they went to Columbus to buy a guitar. Deputies ran a criminal history check and found that he had prior aggravated possession of drugs conviction in 2019. Okay. Uh, So while the cops were talking to him, Ferguson told them they went to Chillicothe to buy a guitar. And they were going home to Bidwell due to the nervousness. Chillicothe is not Columbus. Exactly. Individuals, the discrepancies in the story in the prior ag- aggravated possession conviction, deputies and their canine, Hershey. Good well, I bet she gives good kisses. Good, I bet he does. I bet he likes your Hershey kiss. Yeah, I bet. Performed a vehicle scan for illicit drugs. Hershey gave positive indications for the present of the odor of illicit drugs coming from the vehicle. So blah, blah, blah. They had four ounces of methamphetamine. And it's really not that much. That's not, I'm like, it's not a big deal, but the whole fact, why do they keep mentioning the guitar? I don't, why did they mention the headline at all? Well, because they went to buy a guitar and picked up meth while they were out? Like, hey, yeah, let's just get some meth. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but you remember Tire King? Tire, Tire King. <sighs> I hate everything that I am right now. I me hate, too. I hate being me. I hate, be, I hate looking at you. You have rubbed me off over the last four years. And now I'm starting to stutter like you. Good. And read things wrong. Good. <sighs> Next thing you know. I'm, I'm making be... an impression. You, oh, you are. Mushroom-shaped impression. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right on your forehead. <laughs> right on my forehead. <laughs> it's purple. Uh, Tiger King star Doc Antle. You remember him? Oh, he yeah. like, I don't have nothing to do with this. Yeah, He's arrested. Embezzlement or some bullshit. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Archaeologists unearthed 42 skeletons of syphilis-ridden Spanish colonists under Peru's oldest hospital. That's where I would put my syphilis-ridden Spanish colonists. Me too. Treasonous colonists. Geico ordered to pay... Oh, here's here's a good one. Geico ordered to pay Missouri woman $5.2 million. You know why? She contracted an STD in a car. A Missouri woman was awarded $5.2 million in a settlement from insurance company Geico after contracting a sexually transmitted disease from her partner in his vehicle, which was insured by the company. Court documents show... The Missouri Court of Appeals upheld that award this week. The woman, a Jackson County resident, said she contracted HPV from her partner. That's human papillomavirus. According to the court documents, on Tuesday, the Court of Appeals filed an opinion confirming the initial Jackson County Circuit Court arbitration award finding against GEICO. So she had sex, got HPV, sued GEICO, and the court's like, yeah, that's legit. Here's $5.2 million. I'm, I'm still thoroughly confused. Me too. I, I don't know how. She made the final settlement offer of $1 million to resolve her claims, her clams, the documents say, 
In April 21, Geico denied coverage and refused their settlement order. The case was sent to an arbitrator. The arbitrator determined there was sexual activity in an insured in the insured automobile that directly caused or contributed to the cause. The woman. So she's suing Geico because she got an STD for fucking in the back seat of her car. Her partner's car wasn't even hers. And they and wouldn't. His car is covered by Geico. I guess. I mean, I guess. His lizard. <laughs> I guess. His lizard was definitely on about. Yeah. Hopefully we don't see that one in commercials. Jesus Christ. Yeah. They, the arbitrator. I'll tell you what. It takes guts to be an organ donor. <laughs> Stop. Close that, close that tab in your browser right now. <laughs> oh, man. It is hot in here. I'm going to buy you an air conditioner. I have one. A whole one. What, that window one? Yeah. It's not in here, though, so it's not any good to me. It is not in here because it is Downstairs. not that hot. It is very hot. It's a little warm. It's not bad. It's hot. It's getting hot in here. I'm going to take off all my clothes. Oh, please don't. And then you're going to regret not having that AC in here. No. Nope. I will end this podcast, change the name, and you will never be allowed back. I'm trying to decide if it's worth it or not. <laughs> you got to admit, if I strip naked, your reaction on the air would get raised. I mean, it gets, if I can put that shit back on. No one needs to see any of that. No. Nobody needs to see what they see. <laughs> no one needs to see anything. Fucking, I'll gouge my eyes out. With soap. <laughs> With a, a knife. With a soap knife. I'll cut it like out. prison. God, I really have nothing to talk about. We're... We, <laughs> We're doing good, man. This literally could be the shortest episode ever at no, 28 we're minutes. Roll. We're on a roll. Are we? Yeah. Call us jelly because we're buttering rolls. Uh, okay. I mean. Lift up your coat and touch your toes. I'm trying to. I'm going to show you where the, the wild world. goose grows. I watched Beer Fest last night. Baby. I, I almost watched it yesterday. I watched it last night. At like That's m- funny. It was 1230 last night because I couldn't sleep and I, I can't lay down. Like so I, you like sleeping in the recliner? So I have, to, I have to sleep in the chair. Like in the chair, I can't even lay on the couch. So I'm sleeping yeah. in the chair with my feet up on the ottoman. That's comfortable. <sighs> no, you don't have a recliner, do you? I do, but it's not like a comfortable recliner to sit in. It's more decorative. Oh, it's, it's like a fancy chair. Yeah, it's the white one that sits out in the reading room. Oh, I've taken yeah. a couple naps in it, but it was. You I'm need just a like good recliner, man. I don't want a good recliner. Oh, there's nothing like a good recliner. I know. I grew up with good recliners. <sighs> I don't. I don't want one. Why? Do you know how much, how little I would actually get done around here? <laughs> I wouldn't do a fucking thing. Just be like, I love my recliner. You get one of those vibrating massage ones. No, nope, I like, just, just uh, sitting in the, a big overstuffed recliner, I'd be like, uh, So comfy. Like, you need to mow. I'm like, yeah, I'll get to it tomorrow. Yeah. Fuck, tomorrow never comes. If tomorrow never comes. Tomorrow never comes. So I would, I would never get around to mowing. Although Will right you now. you mow how much I love? Yeah, you got a crew now. I can't mow. You hired some, uh. Liz, Liz and Lexi are doing all the mowing. Lexi is not happy. I should go down there, not even saying I saw your Facebook post, and be like, what do you do to your yard, Martell? It looks like crap. <laughs> Liz would flip. Liz, Liz would probably be like, well, I did that. And Lexi <laughs> may come at you with a knife. I think I could take Lexi still. Liz, she, I, I kind of... I don't know. She's wiry. Wiry. So, whatever. But... Now, Liz and I ran to the store today. Why didn't you drive? <laughs> ah! Well, she asked me to pick up a six-pack of Sprite. That's not... That's... I picked seven up. <laughs> Close that tab. <laughs> right now. Ah, I set that one up perfect. <laughs> I will give you credit where it is due. That's one of the best setups you've ever done. You didn't spit. You didn't sputter. You set that one up well. That is good. Not as good as this margarita. No, the margarita is fantastic. Uh, don't ask me for the recipe because I literally just dumped everything into a blender without measuring. Want to put my tender heart in a blender? Uh, watch it spin around to a beautiful margarita. But I'm trying. I haven't. We haven't done anything this week. Oh, my hook's done for the Porsche for the the Lego Porsche. Porsche. Corey did tell me that. Well, where's it at? Well, it's at Corey's house. He better ship and handle that. I told him he'd just bring it down in person, and he could be on the show. Oh, that'll work, too. We could do that. So we'll just do it that way. Okay. But I still got to get all the shit together 
the frame and everything to put it so I can hang it up on the walls. I'm I, and I'm so far up in the air about buying that four hundred dollar Ferrari. Don't. Maybe I'll just get the hundred and fifty dollar one. Don't. Don't tell me what to do. Don't. Why? Buy like a pirate ship or something. Cool. I don't want a pirate ship. Can't hang a pirate ship on a wall. I don't give a fuck. Sure you can. No. Where there's a and you know what? And it's not the same pirate ships they had back in the eighties. So I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's not the same pirate ship we had when I was a kid. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. It got kind of cartoony. They look too real now. No, they got cartoony. And I don't give a shit about the cartoony stuff. Well, in the eighties, we only had square and rectangle blocks. So yeah, they were, <laughs> they were all eight bit. Like the original, like the original pirate. They had like a whole pirate set that, and then they got rid of it, and then they started bringing the shit back. Well, that original pirate set looks better than what they have today. You're just mad they don't have a butt pirate ship. I wish they did, and a plug. <laughs> a butt plug? Yeah. Ooh, Lego butt plug. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> they have all kinds of rounded pieces, remember? That hurt. They do now, yeah. It'd yeah, but fine. imagine you get it up there, and you like sneeze and clinch, and then it all breaks the side up in your colon. I mean... That's you on fart, you. Then you fart, and it's like... <laughs> rapid fire Lego machine gun. It's all pixelated. <laughs> 8-bit machine gun. But... A lot, of, a lot of colon talk today. There is. Unscripted colon hole. But we didn't do anything. Like, I haven't done anything, because I had this... Well, you have your arms in a sling. It is. I mean, I went to the gym and worked out yesterday. Is that your masturbating hand? No. Oh, you're good, though. I can switch, though. I can go back and forth. Back and forth? Yeah. <laughs> Must be nice to be so in, well endowed. You can just flip it over to one side. It is. Well, being ambidextrous helps, too. <laughs> that means you can write with both hands. And being super coordinated, which has nothing to do with being dyslexic. <laughs> right. But, no, I went and worked out yesterday. That was fun. I rode a stationary bike for 30 minutes. That's something. There's something. Yeah, that's and moving. Then, getting there and moving. And then I did... Shuttle cock. No, walking. Shuttle walk. So I walked like 100 meters and back. Cock walk. Or I did a 100 meter walk, then a 200 meter walk, then a 300 meter walk, then a 400 meter walk. Cock a walk a flame. No. no. Missouri man who fought to get LGBTQ books banned from public schools arrested for child molestation. Imagine that. Shocker. I am. Totally he's like, not surprised. He he once had a podcast where he's like, I don't care about your pronouns. I'm not going to call you a tree or thee or they or them. He's a child molester. Yeah. Well, the other day, someone told me my fur coat was gay. You have a fur coat? Yeah, it just came out gay! of the closet this morning. Okay. okay. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm going to break that tablet there. Are you? No. Okay, good. That, that involved getting up. Yeah, it would. Although my butt kind of hurts. Not from sitting, if you know what I mean. Yeah, well. Because I took a huge dump this morning. Oh. I had a guy try to sell me a coffin. It's literally the last thing I need. <laughs> Actually, the last thing you would need is a doctor. You don't know you're getting a coffin. <laughs> well. Go ahead. You, you look down and you got the smirk on your face. Oh, I do. Set up the next one. Why? You're waiting for it for the right moment. Yeah. This magic moment. West Virginia man finds 11,000 year old sloth skull while hunting turkeys. <laughs> he must suck at hunting turkeys. Apparently, but he found a sloth. Skull. A skull. <laughs> There's no sloth I wonder if he wall. fucked it. <laughs> he definitely did. Yeah, he did. He's from West Virginia. Yeah, his cousin was unavailable. She was having her nails did. Uh, 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 ooh, penis plants. Yeah, I've seen those. The, Campan- the, the Cambodian government is begging people to stop picking these ultra-rare penis plants. It, <coughs> it looks like a dick. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I went to talking and it, it held. Why'd you do that? It's tequila. No, I got a little piece of the lime peel thing. <laughs> mm. I'm good. I'm good. Mm. I don't think it'll change me at all. It's good. I feel fine. All right. Uh, I literally, I have nothing to talk about. You're terrible with this. Am I, though? Th- this is your job. Oh, I got an award the other day at work. Did you? What award was it, Martel? It was the award for being the most secretive person. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah, I really wish I could tell you about it. Oh. Ba, 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 ba. Where's all your sound effects? Dang it. You could have been using them all this time. Wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> to who? Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, I can't argue that. Yeah. That's it. That's all you got? I don't... I, I mean, I, I did not prepare for this in any way, shape, or form today. As in, I'd never prepare for the show. Ever. I'm trying to look. Oh, my body just did a weird sound. I heard it came did through the hear, microphone. Did you hear that? It was like gar 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 gar. Yeah. Close yeah, that. I don't. I don't have anything. Close that. Close that. Close that. We got brewmates though. Close that. We do have brewmates. That's I did. I did another mystery box. A brewmate mystery box. Oh, order. well, talk about that. What'd you get? I don't know. I ordered it yesterday. I won't know until it shows up. It's a mystery. I thought you meant you already got it. No. I ordered it. Although it was your anniversary recently. It was, yes. This and past week. Yeah. We have not celebrated yet. Beth said something nice about you. She did. She did. And then I said something not so nice about you. You said exactly what I would expect you to say. I mean, it's what I do. She said, happy 17th anniversary, Otis Nice. Oh, no, that was somebody else. Hold on. <laughs> You're reading the wrong one. I am reading the wrong one. Oh. Shmilly, 17 years. Wow. Can I keep you forever? Shmilly. And I said, uh, where is my response at? Why, is it, why did they hide all the responses? I said, happy anniversary. Are you sure you want to keep him? I said, really, think about that. It's a good one. You laughed. She didn't. She hardly ever reacts to stuff on Facebook. That's fine. But it, it says Shmuley. It does say Shmuley. S-H-M-I-L-Y. Th- that's an acronym. Shmuley. Shmiley. It stands for See How Much I Love You. Oh. I thought maybe it was like She Sells She Shows by the She Shore. She shall, she shall, she shall, she shall. Oh, man, I'm looking for another. I need to get some more cigars. We need a cigar company to send us cigars. Yeah, let's do that. Cigar companies, send us cigars. Right now. I don't, I don't know who, but I really like my father's. I really like Aging Room. I like your father's, too. I like Foundation. I got to go get some Foundation cigars. The Foundation Tabernacle, holy shit, is it really good. The Charter Oak was pretty good, too, but it was a little mild for me. I haven't had either. I do have a really cool article I've been saving for a long time I could read. It's whiskey-based. Get after it, then. All right. How's your margarita doing, since we're going to read about whiskey? No. Mine's going. It's about gone. I can mute that. But Why? Because it's like burping into the microphone. Not the same at all. No, it's... It's annoying, though. I hate it. It's really annoying. But you keep doing it. I gotta get all the margarita. Problem solved. Muted. Hey! Unmute my body! Turn me on! <laughs> Done. Mm, now I'm turned on. I love having little mute buttons over here for things. Uh-oh. Oh, it's hard. Bye. I was like, man, I yelled, and Liz is going to come in here and stab me. And she might. She might. I might give her the knife for it, too. Mm. <laughs> I bet you would. Give her with a fillet knife. Give her the... <laughs> Hold still. I'm trying to slowly slice bits and pieces off of you. I just need a pound of flesh. She goes, you, you, you get her the electric turkey carving knife and an extension I need to cord. get one of those. You don't have one? No, I need to get one. Yeah, those are great. I really wish I had, a, like, a butcher's cleaver or something along those lines. That would be, like... Oh, maybe I'll get you one for your birthday. That would be a really nice knife you to have. You turn to Walmart, like 10 bucks. Yeah. That'd work. There's motion at you. There's a person at your deck. Yeah, probably. I accidentally sent my one of my cameras to back yep, door. It's Liz. I sent one of my cameras to back door, so my app will say, there's motion at your back door. <laughs> and I say, yeah, there is. There's motion all over this house. There's motion all over my ocean. There's a person at your deck.
Yeah, it's Liz. Again. So I have two cameras back here, and they both face the same direction. That's perfect. Well, one faces the, one covers the deck, the other one covers the pool. That's not the same direction. Though. No, it is. Here, I'll show you. It's not one direction. So no, you're right. It's not there. Shitty band. So right there. Yeah, there's a camera. I see a camera on your camera. You can see the camera on the camera. The one faces like right down the middle of the deck, so you can see the pool, and the other one is tucked up in the corner. So you can see if somebody's dying right down the gotcha. So I can keep track of all that shit. I have like eight more cameras to add up to this house. It'd be awesome. It's gonna look like it's absurd. Here. It's fucking absurd that I need to add that many more cameras just to cover everything. It's a turd. Yeah, I know it's a turd. This house is a turd. So this article was Jack Daniels, Jack Backaboom, Jack Daniels, which you love. Yeah, I'm not Versus. a fan. Although, I will, dude and them did post a photo the other day that he broke into some, like, I don't know. It was like a bottle and bond or some something on Instagram for Jack Daniels. And I just was just, he was like, more, you know, a little more surprised than what I thought it would be. I'm like, eh. Oh, look at this guy doing parkour. Oh, I love this guy. Have you not seen him before? No. Oh, watch him. He is phenomenal. <laughs> he is you. Yeah, he wears heelys and does parkour. He's like a middle-aged, balding, chub, not fat, but chubby guy. He's got a dad bod. Yeah, he does. Of course, it's not going to connect properly now because I... Yeah, because you're trying to do something. Yeah. Technology is wonderful. It can kiss my butt real big. Uh-oh, he uh-oh. is hopping across. Oh, my God. Booyah. What? Oh, he did not just do a wall run. Oh, oh. And to the heels. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is peak athletic performance. Dude, I love... He's got so many videos, though. Some of them are freaking hilarious. I just... That wall run kills me every time. The double hop on the the picnic table? That's the shit right there. Baller, one leg across the grass. I wish I knew his name so we could look up his, like, funnier videos, but... Well... Anyway... Buck Futter. Oh, uh, we don't we don't need to look up. We don't need to stop. Go here. Yeah, we shared it to our reel. No, I didn't. I, I sent it to ourselves. Oh. oh. They don't even have him tagged on here. Losers. Fuck. That's so good. Wait, scroll down. Oh, okay. Never mind. Thanks, Barstool Sports. Yeah. For just tagging yourself in it. I'll never. I, maybe that's why. I, I should start tagging ourselves in all of the post tags that I do. Because I've been doing more shit on Instagram. Good. Yeah. Oh, that's a sad video. Oh. I did see that. Yeah, it was a video of Diesel. But yeah, so I've been doing more. I've been putting more stuff out there. You like have. like this one? <laughs> still looking for a sponsor? Hey, we're still looking for a sponsor, people. Yeah, sponsor us. So, you know, if, if you got money to spend for your marketing budget. Or whiskey or cigars. Or yeah, or that too. I mean, I'll go Good cigars, not black and Yeah, I don't I don't no, I don't we need We won't even crack those open. I don't need your fucking Phillies blunts and your black and mods. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I need Uh can I get a four pack of Al grapes? <laughs> <sighs> can I get some strawberry vape juice? Oh, strawberry vape. <sighs> I've never had it. I don't it want sounds to. disgusting. Uh, yeah, so we're looking for sponsors. So, you know, mount up, fuckers. Um, mount, mount us. And then I did post a, a... I'm trying to do more video, even if it's just a still photo. I'm trying to turn those into images. Yeah. Or those, <laughs> in, those images into videos. So I did the uh, Fantastic Voyage with... Come on and ride on this fantastic ride. Let me try ride to get this shit again. Don't say what, well, just get inside my butt. What? I don't know. Apple Pencil. But I don't know why it's not connecting to the... That's what I named my oh. She got them Apple Pencil jeans, pubes with the fur. There we go. All right, so it's connected now. But yeah, I did. So I did the 
Maybe. Maybe I didn't. You didn't do the... Apparently I didn't do anything. And it's still not playing on the... God. Fucking technology is the goddamn worst. (sighs) I hate you. Literally, it's the fucking worst. It's supposed to be connected. It's not connected. And it's it's not. It's not connected, Martel. It's the BTA2. BTA, for those of you who don't know, stands for it's Bad still not connected. Technology Able. Assholes. Two. It's still not connected. So I did that, and then this was, I like this one today. I saw that on Facebook. I think I pulled it from Facebook. I liked it. But. Because I'm both a musician and a podcaster. But, but, <laughs> but what's funny is if you, ta- if you tap on it, look who the musician is. <laughs> No one wants to listen to Tyler. <laughs> oh, you didn't even tag me as a podcaster. I didn't? Yeah, I did Chief Tim oh, Forge. Okay, sorry, I missed it. Yeah, you're there. Who's Brett Paul Bryan? Oh, Brett. Duh. Brett. <laughs> <laughs> dur, dur. Dur, dur. Who's real Patty B? Um, some guy that's been on the show maybe once. Just weirdo. But yeah, I put I put Tyler as the musician because no one wants to listen to him. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to catch that what until now. That? But yeah, it's still funny because I had to explain it. It's not funny if you got to explain it's not funny it. You got to explain it. So yeah, I've been trying to do more posting, but we need sp- we we. I would like to take this show further. We need a sponsor. We want to go deeper in you. Yes, all of you. I need a. Sp- I need someone who wants to sponsor the show. We need what we really need is somebody who wants to <laughs> to do all the stuff we're not good at and don't want to do. With the promotion, the reaching out, the reach arounds. I can reach out. I just don't. But, but again, we need somebody that is like into doing that. Yeah, but they want to get paid for that shit. And I, we don't make any money. Good. You don't get paid until we get paid. <laughs> it's like a law firm. I wasn't aware that this was a law firm. <laughs> it's a reverse law firm. <laughs> but the, I mean, I would love to have somebody come in and do production for us. That'd be nice. Instead of me sitting here with three fucking devices in front of me looking shit up. That'd be nice. We should also try to not script stuff, but find stuff to talk about. Yeah. Well, usually we do have something to talk about. I thought I had shit to talk about today, and apparently my jokes just kind of landed flat. I thought they were good, actually. They were really good. Actually, I found... They they all came from one Instagram account. I figured. I figured you found one source. I did. It was so good. It was so good. I found him on Instagram, and I'm like, I hate... Or I, I found him on Facebook, and I hate Facebook, so I went and found him on Instagram. Because it's different. It is so much different. Doc Talk? Yeah. Welcome to the Buckhorn Podcast for all your docking needs. Actually, and it's not going to show up because it's not under Doc Talk. Top 10 toxic guy names. Oh, uh, Let's go. Jake... Any Number biblical one, name. Wait, slow down. One, Jake. Two, any biblical name. Three, Alex. Four, Jason. Five, Brandon. What? what? Six, two letter names, Mo. There's you, Jason, and Mo in a row. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, we are. Seven, Chet. The only Chet I know is Chet Atkins. I don't know any Chets. Uh, eight, Blake Balake. Nine, Tyler. Tyler. And ten, Connor with two ends, not Connor with one end. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was conjure. Conorger. <laughs> Conorger. It's a, it's a parenthesis. <laughs> <laughs> Conorge. Conorge. Not Conorge. I mean, I'll take it. I'm I'm pretty much an asshole. Don't you know that you're toxic? Mm-hmm. I do now. Someone told me. I kind of shook my cleavage boobs there for that. I got a little excited. Let's see. Sort by default. Nope. Let's sort by... Followed latest. There it is. <laughs> Are we dumb? <laughs> so I spent probably 45 minutes just watching oh. these one liners. Do you, okay, I know you, how you feel about TikTok, but there are these accounts that have. Jokes like this go back for and this like yeah. try not to laugh challenges. Some of them are freaking hilarious. My dad was bragging about his new hearing aid. He said, there they are, talking abortion. 
like, oh, awesome. What type is this? He said, 230. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. So dumb. Short, thin, fat, rich, poor. At the end of the day, it's nice. For Americans... <laughs> So stupid. So dumb. <laughs> it's so, so stupid. Dumb. They're dad jokes. They're on oh, the total dad jokes. Oh, you read that one? Yeah, I read that one. Yeah, it's so good. It, I don't care. I can sit and watch those. For at least I ten minutes. If you ever do get into TikTok, you're gonna get hooked on TikTok and be hours into it. Time for more margaritas. Maybe. Might be time to just sh- shut this shit show down and have more margaritas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I'm on the list of toxic castles, though. Me too. With Mo and Jason, I'm happy for you. Me too. It's a good look on you. Is it? No. No, I thought it is. Nope. Too cool for British rule. <laughs> oh, you need that Ben shirt. Franklin. You need to get that shirt next time Patrick's on. Just wear it. And don't say nothing. I may just have. Well, no, I can't mention that to do because he'll make it and then make a profit off of shit that somebody else did. Somebody else did. Yeah. Oh, hold on. He's doing that already. <gasps> oh, oh, called him out. Get in. We're doing butt stuff. Yeah, quit stealing stuff, dude. Anyway, all right, I'm done. Let's go. I'll go make some more margaritas. We got the Insta Googles, the tweets, the grams, and the whatever. Anyway, I'm Martel. He's Randy. We're done. Whatever. Shitty show. You know what? Shut up. Insta Google tweets the gram. We love you guys. A rabbi, a priest, and a atheist walk into a bar. Ow. <laughs> <laughs>